in any time, any place. So there is a congressman or, or, or elected official in New York who's uh, proposing um, uh, making it a crime to call the police on innocent black people. And I agree. I think it's akin to yelling fire in a crowded room. And I think that now it's happened so much that I can't think that it's by accident. People, you, you can't tell me now that you're not aware of what's happening. You can't tell me now you're not aware of the ramifications of what you're doing. You can't tell me right now that you didn't know because it's, these we're inundated with a news cycle of people calling the police on somebody and then subsequently having their livelihoods ruined. Because if you call the police on somebody and they weren't doing anything wrong, the 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 maybe the intended uh, consequence of that may have been something that happened to them, but what ends up happening is something happens to you. People get on Twitter and, and social media, and then you lose your job, and then you have to pretend like you weren't as racist as, you th as we thought you were when you made the call. I absolutely do think it's a great idea that people should have the suffer the consequences of their actions. If you call the police on somebody just to be funny, if you call the police on somebody as a threat, if you call the police on somebody just because you want to see what happens and that turn that person turns out to be innocent, you should be charged. And so the very same thing that you were hoping happened to them should happen to you. We live in a society right now where people are using the police like their personal hit squad. All of a sudden, you call the police hoping something bad happens. Like there was uh, somebody yesterday uh, that blocked somebody in because their tags were expired. We have people looking at people's, uh, you know, grocery baskets. We have people telling you can't barbecue. All right, if somebody's doing something wrong, that's absolutely what the police are for. You are supposed to be able to oh, access yeah. help when you need it. What you're not supposed to do is use them as your personal hit squad. You're not supposed to see what happens. It's not your look-see event. Hmm. These, these these actions have real consequences. People are really getting in trouble. People are really getting hurt. We saw the other day in Iowa, a policeman pulls a, a guy over and go and proceeds to do everything he can to almost goad him into into something violent happening. So it is very real. Absolutely, I think that if you call the police on somebody and they're not doing anything, I don't care if they're black or white, but it just tends to it just tends to be a pattern that people call the that, that there are people calling the police on black people just for doing regular things. And if you do that, and, and, and there is nothing, in fact, going on, I'm just going to my car, I'm going to my own house, I was minding my own business, I was going to swim, I was just barbecuing, and nothing happens, you waste that police officer's time, and you and you put that person in jeopardy, your ass should get a charge. The same thing, like what they say, <laughs> everything you've done to me, i already <laughs> done to you. A little color purple on there, that's a little note from the GED section. <laughs> we got the jazz report coming up after Peebo <laughs> Bryson and the Hubley Show.